All right, you guys, this is gonna be an awesome day. We're gearing up to do some kind of a big RC shoot. They keep telling me it's some kind of a big deal monster truck. And um, I think they're gonna be bringing it in here any minute, but um, they've been saying it's a really big deal. And so I think it's probably gonna be some new like fifth scale or something kind of monster truck. Um, but it's, yeah, they say they haven't made one like it before. And so I know a lot of people have been asking for like really big stuff. And uh, I, we're probably gonna have to move this thing out of the way, this little toy right here that somebody's kind of left on the table. Uh, uh, Mr. King. Yes, sir. That, that's, that's the RC right there. This little thing right here, this is this is the RC. This is the big deal RC right here. Yes, that's the RC. It's not a monster truck. Monster trucks, I mean, they're huge. There's got to be a different one. They, they said they were going to bring me the box in here because they needed the box for the RC for me to be able to talk about the things it, for it. So, uh, well, that's, that's the box. Th the this RC. is what we've been waiting for right here? Yes. This thing in front of me this whole time is what we're doing a video on. Yeah, that's why we put it in front of you. I'm gonna need to talk to my manager. All right, guys, welcome to the video. It's gonna be awesome. We've got the coolest RC here. Gonna be a really, really big deal. Um, that's what they're telling me. And uh, you guys are gonna love it. And um, even though it's small and you know, you probably really couldn't call it a monster truck because monster is usually kind of big. Um, it's, a, it's a mini monster truck from Arma and uh, Yes, independent suspension. We're gonna look at it because it's so cool and I'm not being paid to say that. I mean, I just mean it. And so, you know, everything that I'm gonna tell you about this thing is gonna be straight up the honest to God truth about it. So we're gonna um, take a look at this. It's just, I mean, it's red, white, and blue. So it couldn't be any better. This has gotta be the best RC that's ever been made just because of the body. So we're gonna take a look at this and see what kind of stuff it has in it. But as you can see, like small monster trucky tires here, there's like lots of air in them. So uh, that's, that's a good feature right there. All the air, you can hear the air squish out. So that's like added suspension, you know, because it does have oil filled shocks. And then it's got these things they showed me, I like push in these little levers in here and the body will just kind of like pop off like that. And then, you know, the truck's naked. So um, you probably want to keep this on most of the time because you don't want to see all the under parts of the RC like that. It's just not, you know, not very humble of it if you do that, if you ask me, because it's packing a lot of wallop in here. You know, it's got this brush motor, it's got a heat sink. So that's a pretty nice feature there. It's in red and red's like a power color. So it's going to be powerful motor because they put that red on top of it just to give it that extra power in there. And then it's got this uh, Spectrum Receiver ESC all-in-one bundle here. Makes it go fast just because it says Spectrum on it and it says SLT and the S looks like a fast S. I don't know if you can see that on that tiny little camera you bring around these days. But um, the servo is like, it looks like the servo is part of the ESC. It's kind of weird. It's just like the ESC is turning the car, I think, because look at that, there's your steering arm coming right out from underneath that ESC receiver there. Pretty cool. Um, comes with the battery in here. So you just, you know, do this little Velcro and uh, you've got the battery. Sorry, it's hook and loop. We don't want to get them in trouble by calling it Velcro. It's hook and loop. So uh, you guys can just beep that out, make it sound like I was cursing or something. And just leave that in there and it'll be good because I'm not going to redo it. So uh, I don't got time for that. King of RC is a busy guy. But it's got these like plastic oil filled shocks in here. It's got like the A-arms, you know, it's got like a tub chassis in there. Just like, you know, some people like taking baths and stuff like that. And that's normally what you think of when you think of a tub. Well, this RC has got a tub too, but it holds like batteries and cool stuff. Not no sissy baths, no bath water in this. This is just straight up RC bath right there, you know, tub going on. And uh, I think that's about all I can see about it. It says, says words on the bottom, uh, but I don't read too good with my glasses on. Oh yeah, the whole reason they brought this is because I'm supposed to show you guys, uh, it has four wheel drive transmissions. Um, what else did they say was super important that I made sure that I talked about with this? Um, Oh, it's on the side. It's, it's a side one. It's, it's so important that it doesn't end up on the front or the back, but they just kind of stuck it on the side here. But it's all metal gears in there. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's got this like metal 
drive shaft in the middle too. It's kind of nice and big. Can't get to it though or see it because I got this like plastic guard on it. It's like covered up. So you wouldn't know it was there. So I got to tell you about it. So, um, but yeah, it's got these diffs in here and it's got a little sticker with numbers on the bottom of it, which is a pretty cool feature. And then uh, if you open this up, I think there's some stuff that they give you with this. And uh, we got to get through this a little faster here. So we're just going to rip this out like this and get, get to it. Got this radio thing. And it has um, fun needs control. I don't know. I like being out of control. I think that's more fun than being in control. So you just don't even need this probably. So no controller needed. We don't want to be controlled by the man. And that's what it sounds like they're trying to do with this thing. So you just best be careful how you use that. It may be recording you. I don't even know, like it's controlling, but it's got this like Vel, not, oh, I almost said Velcro again. So it's not, it's Ziploc. Oh, it's not Ziploc. It's a, the press and seal kind of thing that you do, whatever, whatever this is without using the name brand name. That's what it has for this baggie. And it's got this really neat tool. And I should talk about this because this is kind of neat. So it has the tool on the front because these are all like hexes in here to work on it. And it comes with this kind of like tool um, that you can use. So you can either use the hex side or these are also, um, you can't use this one for it, but that'll work with your wheel nuts, which is nice. But these also have like box hexes on the edges of them here. So you could use like a wrench. Let me just pull this out of here. Um, these are these are the best tools you could get actually if you haven't seen these ccxrc.com has them and uh, he did not tell me that I should talk about this in the video but his 5.5 little wrench on here I was told that it would work on it I was not told but I figured out all by myself just right away I knew which one to grab and it was this 5.5 and it fits right on there so if you feel like you're gonna strip stuff out using a hex you got two different ways, you know, it's also a nut. So there you go. Put this back in here. It's mighty handy if you do ask me, having one of these in your pocket all the time. So this one's brand new because I lost my other one, but um, we'll just put it in there and it'll get dirty and look like I use it a lot. Then it comes with some other stuff like batteries for the radio. And it's got this little like uh, credit card thing in here. It shows the car, and so like these, I think are going to be collectible one day. You can get you a keychain with these all on them for all the different RC cars that they make. And then it comes with these uh, little plastic rings for like children, because I think this is a children's toy. If you look at the size of it, I mean, stuff men play with are like five times the size of this, if you ask me. But it looks like, hey, you you stick your hand in here, you little skinny boy, you camera boy. Let's see if this ring fits on your finger. Let me see a pinky or something. Yeah, I remember these little rings. They got like the little, the parts that open up on the bottom and you put them on, you get them in like little quarter things. See, like you probably have to be about like five years old in order to get that ring to fit on your finger, but it's pretty close on him. But they give you a lot of them because maybe you, you have a lot of fingers that you want to put rings on, or maybe you want to ring up one whole finger that would be a good use of these two. So um, if you've got little children and you want to use them for them to uh, do dress up, that would be pretty cool. And uh, Armour's just looking after, you know, parents. Parents want to be irresponsible and spend all their money on RC cars. At least they got something that their kids can play with while the parents are out there driving these things. Although this one's kind of little for parents to be driving, if you ask me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to drive this. But um, we're going to show you how to drive it today so that your kids can drive it because they said I have to. So to put this back together, you just kind of like go like this and then in editing, they make it look like it was super simple, but hangs on there real good. Good luck. And then again, America, let's see what this thing does with driving. All right, we're going to drive it off the steps here. You ready? Back it up. And go. Nailed it. First try. Oh, see, it's you can play ball games with it. Because, again, it's for little kids, so they got lots of little balls all around. You just, like, do, like, bump, bumping it like this. That's kind of fun. Oh, little jumps. 
big jumps. Oh, it's so cool. Well, King of RC is like one of the best RC drivers, so your kids won't make it look this good. So um, if they break it first try, it's not my fault. They just need to go to driver school. And King of RC is probably gonna start of RC driving school online soon. And um, if you pay a lot of money, I'll teach you some of my tricks for how to make it last and do cool tricks like me. Ready for this one? Cool trick. Front flip. I just did like 10 and I did cartwheels, all of it intentional. First try. This thing is just magical in my hands. See, look at that one. Plan that move too. I call that one a suicide mission run. And then you just kind of whip it around here and go back for it like this and you hit a rock. So rocks are good to have on your course every once in a while because you put that there. I remember you putting that there. You make me look stupid. It's good exercise with rocks. You know, if you gotta go pick up the car, well, look at the strength of that thing. I hit a rock at full speed and this thing's still going. And then we do that. So I wanted to kind of check out what I was dragging. So I just kind of, I did a trick that would make it land upside down. And that way I'd be able to go over there and take a look at it. So look at that. It'll do like donuts, you know, get Homer Simpson move it. Little slap wheelie, just slapping it around. Oh, it looks good in the sun. Look at that. Look at that red, white, and blue. Oh, that was like a little bicycle wheelie jump. Oh, good wheelie. See, now the problem is after the king gets done with this video, all the kids are going to think they're going to be able to drive it this good, and they're just not going to be able to. So you might have to, like, edit some children in playing with it, and so you can see all the crashes and stuff that it'll do. So maybe add that in right now. All right, we got the King of RC kid here driving the, the RC. Let's see uh, how he does, because he's probably going to make it look like your little chillings would. You've seen him drive in other videos. He can't drive. Look at that. Did you see that? And that? I don't know that you should be driving this color scheme, because America makes me proud but you don't. You're doing terrible driving. What was that? You know, I think their slogan should be, these colors don't run, but this car does. How do you like it? Maybe they should rebrand it. Kids like to just hold the steering wheel going like in circles all the time. It's like all left and all right all the time. And so it kind of does this kind of thing and they never actually hit what they're trying to get to. Like see that, just miss the jump. So that looks like a kid would be driving it and they'll never let go of the throttle. So you can use all that footage for like the kids. That way people know what it'll actually look like when they get it out from under the Christmas tree and uh, they try to do stunts with it. Cause I reckon this is probably like for three and four year olds. That's who's gonna be like the main audience for an RC like this size. Cause then it would feel like a, you know, a fifth scale to an adult, you know. They can barely pick it up with three years old, little wimpy, wimpy arms they got, like little toothpicks. There we go. Let's do, let's see if I can't do a really cool trick off of this one over here, ready? You gotta get in close. I'm gonna do it real nice like right here. Ready? That was a nice flare. Another flare. Oh, that was like a wheelie. There it was, corkscrew. See, corkscrewed it again. All right, yeah, King's got to give you some 
his thoughts on this real quick. This here gets the King of RC stamp of approval, asterisk for five year olds, maybe four year olds, up to like, how? You want adults to drive this thing? All right, so this gets the King of RC approval for everyone. This thing can be fun for whatever age you is because, you know, age is more than just how old you are. Sometimes, you know, you don't really grow up. So we just wrap that up, guys. Is that good enough? Yeah? All right. Thank you. Let me just... Yeah, we're good. on it because it just gets <laughs>